And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we had a severe weather event in our viewing area on this date in 1909, but West Lafayette was hit the hardest. Between 3.45 and 5 p.m., torrential thunderstorm. We had reports of up to four inches of rain in an hour and 15 minutes in the Happy Hollow area. And with this, hail the size of black walnuts, up to two and a half inches in diameter. That's about the size of a tennis ball. 600 panes of glass were shattered out of greenhouses on North Salisbury Street. We also had greenhouse damage, a lot of glass panes shattered over at Purdue. This is the map at 8 a.m. On that day, here's the viewing area. It's pretty strong low pressure near Minneapolis and already storms developing along the cold front. And this occurred early in the afternoon. So it appeared the storms kind of kept growing back to the southwest. But the next day, 20 degrees cooler, a high of 84 that day, 64 the day after. Today, 71 to 78, where the high temperatures across the viewing area, including 75 Lafayette. And tonight, the temperatures vary from 57 Winnemac to 70 at Covington. Obviously, a warm front across the area. This warm front is shifting northward, and it's separating this kind of air. These are the highs today south of us, and it's all moving northward. So these numbers you see down here, the kind of numbers we're going to see by tomorrow. And ahead of that, we've got a storm here near Las Vegas that's pumping the warm air northeastward, but notice the moisture coming out of the Pacific right here. There's a little Gulf of Mexico moisture coming in and the strong dynamics. This will bring severe weather to the plains. We're going to get the leftovers by Friday, but windy tomorrow right through Saturday. A little elevated brush fire danger tomorrow and Thursday with the high pollen levels that we really moisten things up. Showers and thunderstorms Friday, few severe and then a severe weather throughout the day after Mother's Day. Tonight we're in the in the 50s area wide, 58 Lafayette, 60 though at Covington and tomorrow and Thursday. Everybody's in the 80s with a strong southwest wind, 83 Atlanta, but 85 Lafayette, 86 at Monticello, 87 Morocco and 86 degrees at Attica. The severe weather threat for those two days will be west of us from northern Illinois all the way to Oklahoma and Texas. Pretty substantial severe weather event on both days. Now on Friday, whatever is left of that will move eastward. So we're going to have a period of showers and thunderstorms. The thing is, it still looks like the shear and the good dynamics for widespread severe weather are more up here than they are down here. We'll keep an eye on it. I still wouldn't be a bit surprised if there are a couple of severe storms, but it doesn't look widespread. A few lingering showers Saturday still looks partly cloudy on Sunday and even warmer 70s than it looked at six o'clock anyway. And then severe weather threat as we get into Monday. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. 77 Friday, some showers and thunderstorms. A few lingering showers early Saturday, but the afternoon 72. 73 Sunday, partly cloudy for mom. And then 77 Monday, we'll watch the severe weather threat. But overall temperatures, uh, if not about normal, above that and way above normal Wednesday.